just hungry and I want to eat. <laughs> Request to bring them back with black pantyhose. Hey, what's up? It's Ruby. Drink with me. Welcome to my channel where your entertainment is my mission. Very exciting today. We're celebrating 3,000 subscribers on my channel with a sparkling wine from Spanish and also some shoes and we talk about some pantyhose so stay with us because lots of things going on today and you don't want to miss it if you're liking drinking video with a nice view subscribe hit like and join me on my patreon to support this channel going and you'll get better views exclusive stuff there and close ups okay so today we have here a uh, castel Castefino Wame Sara. Sarah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know nothing about Spanish. It's a 17th century Spanish castle. And did you know that Cava is the name of the sparkling wine in Spain? Just like Champagne from France. They use the name Champagne. Only the Great from that region can be called champagne and then here same thing kava and um, the generic name is sparkling wine and this kava uh, in Spain they use the traditional uh, method for fermentation so there's a uh, two times fermentation in the wine why don't we open this and taste and chat more I'll have I have more to tell you about how it is made okay okay all right so we are celebrating 3,000 subscribers on youtube here thank you very much everybody i'm so glad i reached this milestone never thought about it and i cannot do this without you guys so thank you to all of you and this drink is for you okay 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 all right, so let's open the champagne. No, let's open the sparkling one, the kava. And usually it has this uh, steel cap thing because it's so much pressure. We want to make sure the cork does not pop out. And uh, did you know that it's always six twists to uncoil the steel wrap? All right, let's count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ta -da! and you kind of want to hold on to the top just in case it has too much pressure built up on here okay so let me let me see okay seems like this is good it's not gonna fly and I'm not gonna shake it up I don't want to have a uh, kava everywhere and I certainly don't want to waste wine so I'm just gonna open this so okay happy 3000 thank you so much guys let's let's do this Woo! thank you for 3000 subscribers wow, <laughs> wow that was a loud one i love it i love it okay let's pour this out and chat more um i'm using a <laughs> red wine glass because i don't have uh, cham uh, champagne glass yet. I don't have a sparkling glass yet. Um, something to shop for in the future. Let's pour this out. This is a Rido glass. All my glass were usually linked down below. Always linked down below. Check out the description box. Alright, so it looks like that. Okay, we will let it sit for a little bit and, and I'll tell you more. Why don't we talk about what I'm wearing today and then we'll talk about more about the, the wine. Okay, we are wearing um, the Cecilia da Raphael Eternal Matte 9 Den. So this is an, not a usual one that I wear, this is a, a matte one. But I still think it's quite nice, quite ni um, reflective, got a nice shine, not too intense 
bling shine it's still quite nice and it's very smooth it's just good quality uh, panty hose and this is a Spanish brand so Spanish brands Spanish wine this is designed from Barcelona made in Italy <laughs> so uh, made in Italy you know the quality you know is you will get the good quality so that's that um, this is the color Nero so black okay all right and shoes we have featured these red wedges before on my channel already but I got lots of requests to bring them back with black pantyhose so I'm doing that for you if you requested it you better give me a like right now and comment down below say a thank you to Miss Ruby okay <laughs> all right so um, the traditional method the champagne and kava use is two times fermentation the first fermentation is uh, occur in the barrel usually and that is how you make a normal wine red wine white wine that is how you usually make that by fermentation in that and then the second fermentation they put it in the bottle first they add more uh, yeast to it a um, little bit sugar I think and to have to have the second fermentation happening in the bottle to create that bubble all right so it is not an uh, injected bubble for the champagne and the cava it is not a uh, uh, carbonation injection to make the bubble it is from their own fermentation by the yeast and some other sparkling wine they will they own, um, sometimes they only do the one fermentation and inject so those ones will take way less time to make that wine but you know these two will have a longer time all right let's see let's see let's try the color is quite dark it's very golden yellow all right let's smell oh the grape by the way did I tell you the grape hold on hold on hold on <laughs> so the grapes uh, from the region usually they, they, they name it by the region Mocabrio Zarolo Perayada three, three of them which is the typical three grapes in Spain to make a cava okay and it is ideal accompaniment accompany accompaniment accompaniment for all type of appetizer and food uh 11.5 percent alcohol yeah it even says here using the traditional method so that is the two time fermentation second time in a bottle kind of thing all right let's smell okay it smells quite rich and got that honey honey smell i actually have never tried this i I'm not sure if I have tried a cava before from Spain, so this is our our first time, okay? All right, can't wait. Let's check. Let's try. It. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. So. Bubble is really nice, very fine, lots of it. Like gas, very gassy now. And it is very pleasant. Got a little bit of the honey flavor. And it's very leaves my mouth very nice. The aftertaste is very fruity, dry, like a dried fruit. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Let's have more. It's quite acidic. It is citrus, citrus and sour, but it's still got a little bit of the pear, the pear and apple pear kind of fruitiness, and it's very, very nice at the end. Almost got a little bit of that dried apricot, dried fruit 
flavor and leave my mouth really nice guys Woo! this is not that expensive this is quite affordable as well wow wow yeah I am quite impressed oh I just picked this because it was on sale <laughs> um, but from my liquor store there weren't too many cafas there weren't too many Spanish sparkling so but it was it was nice I'm glad I picked it let's have some food with that and see how it pair up this is an egg this is egg tarts and it is like a Portuguese slash Chinese fusion egg tart um there's not 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 much like reason that why I picked this I'm just hungry and I want to eat <laughs> so you're gonna see me eat and pair this with my kava <laughs> alright cheers um pastry wise this is very layered those buttery fluffy pastry and then inside it's like uh, pudding of egg, egg pudding and it's sweet and they use a fire gun did they use that or they will at the end after they bake it they will put a layer of sugar on top sugar water on top and then kind of make the top a little bit burn you see the brown kind of like caramel top all right enough talking I'm hungry Hmm. Nice. It is sweet. It is a dessert. Yeah. Not too sweet. Actually, this is like a breakfast in, in our home. <laughs> or a snack. Mmm. Let's see how our wine tastes like with the tart. Okay. Okay. Actually, it kind of suppresses all the flavor, the fruitiness from this wine. So I don't recommend eating something like bad buttery and sweet I think this is good on its own you can have this no problem on its own and it's very bubbly the, the bubble is fine um, bubble created by in the bottle not injected very nice hmm. the French actually made the sparkling wine first in champagne that's why it's champagne it's so famous and then they kind of took that method the Spanish uh, took the method and just did exactly the same thing double fermentation and uh, made their own so I think the French wasn't too happy with them because of that <laughs> but that's what we all do now right like make like use other people's method but create our own style with our own food and then make it better make it better I just want to say thank you again for watching all my videos and subscribing to my channel remember to join my patreon check it out you can buy me a drink there or you can be a member and um, get some exclusive stuff there and support this channel with on my patreon and follow me on my Instagram I post every day there and I will do my updates on my live stream schedules there on Instagram. I do live streams on YouTube every week, almost every week. I try to do that every week. It's a party day every time, okay? All right, thank you for watching. Drink one, and I'll see you in my next